I'm Elizabeth Saltis from Botest.com, and today we're going to take a look at the design and styling of the GT38 from Beneteau. When I first stepped aboard the GT38, my first impressions were that this boat is ideal for entertaining or spending a relaxing day on the water. The layout lends itself in a way that guests have freedom to do their thing in their own space, whether that be sunning, swimming, or enjoying a day under the protection of the hardtop. But she seems to be far more than that. Let's see how Beneteau balances utility and luxury and space in the GT38. One of my favorite spots is the swim platform. It's solid wood and measures nine and a half feet by four and a half feet, and I'd be content sitting on it while dangling my feet in the water. But if wanted, it's a perfect spot for a couple of lounge chairs. Options on this platform include an electric grill. With just a slight step up, the move from the swim platform to the cockpit is effortless. The U-shaped seating is comfortable for eating, lounging, or even having casual conversations at anchor, and can easily fit eight. The woven beige PVC protects against germs, abrasions, and stains. It's UV and low temperature resistant, and it's easy to clean. Support is remote access to the stereo. For me, the position of the foldable teak table is perfect from all seating positions. This table is also electronically actuated and can transform into a huge sun pad with ease. The hardtop is standard and offers an average height of six feet, five inches. The starboard side lounger is a fairly good size for laying out and wide enough to allow several people to sit comfortably. Underneath is a large storage space for life jackets, beach bags, and snorkels. Adjacent to the double wide helm seat is a single companion seat that swivels and includes a flip up bolster. This is the spot to be seated in while cruising around. The stainless steel grab rail adds security. The cup holders and deep storage space will make your cruise more enjoyable. The opening windows are especially welcome, allowing for a cross breeze inside the cockpit. Rain or shine, the GT38 is up for a day out. The retractable sunroof brings in or keeps out the weather. The entire sole is a Roco, which feels nice under bare feet and really adds to the looks and styling of this cockpit. Moving forward is safe and secure with both handholds built into the hardtop and the high stainless steel bow rails. At the foredeck are two individually adjusted sun pads which create another place to relax. Moving back to the cockpit, the wet bar area of the GT38 includes a cooler, sink, a showcase stemware display with LED lights, and a dedicated space for trash. I would opt for the cockpit refrigerator option as I think this space would otherwise go to waste. I'd really like to see more practical space to prepare snacks. Down below, the cabin is decorated with a beautifully finished Alpi mahogany wood. The two-toned mahogany table and the double-stitch, soft-to-the-touch ultra-leather couch will seat four for dinner. This couch is available in leather, ultra-leather, or linen in over 15 color options. Behind the couch is room to add personal touches and the opening port lights will let in additional light. Storage will not be an issue as there is plenty of it. In a pinch, this space can convert to a berth. The salon has six feet, four inches of headroom and this large skylight adds even more natural light. The galley is complete with a flat screen TV with storage behind, a microwave, sink, Decotech countertop, stove with sea rails, a trash bin, and a refrigerator freezer. Headroom throughout the cabin of the GT38 averages six feet, three inches, but in the head, it increases to six feet, seven inches. The key feature in this wet head is the overhead frosted skylight, which really opens up this space. I was expecting a smaller space in the guest cabin and was surprised by how much room the design allows. Owners can choose between this single berth or an optional double berth. There's the usual accommodations for storage and a good amount of both natural and artificial light. The master stateroom is an oasis on its own. It combines all of the luxurious features of the GT38 to create a tranquil and welcoming space. The island berth's frame is wrapped with a white leather trim and, as seen throughout the boat, the graphite ocean air fabrics and blinds are one of the three color combinations available. There's a hanging locker to port and additional storage below the bed. Light pours in from the hull side windows, opening port lights, and the overhead hatch. It seems that the design team at Beneteau set out to create practical luxury with this stylish GT38. And in my opinion, they've accomplished exactly that. So that's our review of the GT38 from Beneteau. For BoatTest.com, I'm Elizabeth Saltes.